So I wake up every morning and I get to report to my battle station. And even though that sounds a little nerdy, I have to say, I love what I do. There's never really a dull moment in gaming. Obviously there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of obstacles we have to face. But at the end of the day, we all want to be winners, so we work hard for it and never give up. That's my motto. One thing I always loved about gaming is attending events. You know, the energy, the atmosphere, everything about it was just so amazing. You know, I love coming to these events. I love feeling the fire. I love feeling just everybody yelling and everybody going wild after play after play. And I'll never forget my first day on main stage was in Black Ops 1. You know, it was my first shot. It was my first game I was starting to become a pro in. And it's something I love doing. You know, I just loved the competition. I loved I loved everything about it and I wanted to be one of the best and even though back then I knew I still had a lot of work to do I knew I had a lot of talent and I would get up every day obviously get on the game and just grind because I knew I was gonna have a hard long road ahead of me I was gonna have a lot of fails I was gonna lose to a lot of people At the end of the day I didn't want to give up I didn't want that to stop me I've gotten second place about two three times before actually finally getting first at regionals some consider it a championship, some people don't, just because there wasn't really a prize pool. But it was my first event ever winning. You know, Ghost was a game I started to come back hard because I quit in Black Ops 2 twice. And I was just so happy, I, was, I felt so accomplished. I, I felt like a winner. And that's a feeling that I love, you know. Obviously, I, I probably hate losing more than I love winning. But once I won for my first time, that was the best feeling ever. And I knew that I could do it again. I had more confidence. You know, I knew that if I just kept going hard, if I kept practicing, if I just kept playing to my best potential, to my fullest, you know, that it was going to happen again. And that was my long goal. That was to do it again. And I managed to do it again at Nashville. And I'll never forget that moment because we had to win two best of fives and we did it. And God, like this is something I love doing, you know playing video games for a living. I mean, obviously this is not gonna be forever, but it's amazing. I met a lot of cool people in gaming. For example, some FaZe members, Pomage, you know, I have love, nothing but love for FaZe. You know, Temper, Banks, etc., etc. You know, a lot of these gamers I consider really good friends and I probably will talk to them, a lot of them for the rest of my life. And I'm just so glad that I met them. You know, a lot of these people taught me new things. They taught me, how to be better I guess in a way and I'll never forget that. Another thing that made this worthwhile was just traveling with my fiance to all these events. It was just so fun. Also doing YouTube videos, you know, that's something I love talking to my fans, talking to people that support me. That's something I love doing. You guys see me on Twitter, on YouTube and everything like I do that a lot and I just got to be thankful, you know, I'm really grateful that I am here and a lot of it's because of you. Like I said, the atmosphere is freaking awesome. I love traveling to these events. I love being here like it's for so many reasons. Not only is the experience better, especially when it comes to competitive, but it's better overall. I love just getting on the Xbox and getting in the zone and getting ready to play because I know in my head and my mind I have to play the best I can and I will do it. I can say I've had a lot of bad times with a lot of these gamers, but at the same time I've had a lot of good times. And once I really got to know them, you know, I learned more about them and realized they aren't so bad after all. Gaming is something I would love to do and it's what I love to do and I always tell everybody, you know, do what you love, do what makes you happy. At the end of the day, life is short and you guys should be living it to the fullest. If you guys love to game, if you if you want to be a professional gamer, then work for it, work hard for it. You know, nothing comes easy in life and one thing I always say, man, just be happy. Life is short, like I said, enjoy it, live it to the fullest. Like I said, I met a lot of cool people through gaming. And a lot of these people have taught me a lot. They put a smile on my face and I can always joke around with them and pretty much consider them good friends. But some things I will never forget. Winning is probably the best feeling ever in the world. And I'm definitely going to keep trying to do that. I've, I've obviously, you know, if I failed many times, I haven't been doing too well recently, but I'm not going to give up here. I know I have talent. You know, this is what I love to do. And a lot of people can say the same. And this is something that I, I just won't give up on. You know, I, gaming is not going to be forever. It's, I'm obviously going to at some point, you know, have to move on with my life or do something related to gaming, but quit competitively. And before I quit, I definitely want to win a little bit more. I want to win a couple more championships. So I'm going to try my best to make it work. You know, it's not going to be easy. But something I always enjoy doing is YouTube videos, you know, with G Fuel, 
making you guys laugh, making you guys day better. This That's something I also love to do. You know, I just love to do these videos that are funny, creative, can be a little corny at some times, but I just love to make you guys laugh. I got, in the end of the day, I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to have a great day. And that's, that's one of my goals. And I want to inspire you in many ways. And hopefully with this, with, with in the future, in the near future, I can do that. And I just want to say thank you guys. I love you guys. And hopefully you guys get to watch me. And hopefully I'll start doing better. So much love. Do what you love.